if you have ever visited any amusement park, you must remember the rides and the thrilling experience over there. Those breathtaking rides just leave every rider screaming out of their lungs. And this is why everyone doesn't like them, but the people who do, they would look for more with more thrill, more fun, more scare, and laughter, as there is nothing as compared to feeling the adrenaline running through your body and the wind. Sweeping all over your face, we bring you top 10 most dangerous rides of the world. Number 10. Sky Scream Roller Coaster Germany. This ride, which is situated at Holiday Park, Germany, has a lot of flips and inversions because it has every component that will cause your heart to miss a beat. It is referred to as an all-rounder ride. The roller coaster stands 150 feet tall. Number 9. Fujin Region 2, Expoent, Suita, Japan. Disaster struck on May 5, 2007, conveniently being the same date that Children's Day celebrated in Japan. The seated coaster had operated for 15 years beforehand with no issues being one of the most popular attractions at Expoland. The coaster was unique in that it was designed for riders to remain standing and reached a top speed of 75 kilometers per hour. The ride was almost over when one of the wheel axles on the car broke, causing it to lurch to the side and a woman to die due to smashing her head into the guardrail. The coaster dragged her for 300 meters before finally coming to a stop and 18 other riders sustained non-life-threatening injuries. It turned out that the axle that broke hadn't been checked or repaired in 15 years and was found on the ground below afterward. Three employees attempted to cover this fact up and ended up being found guilty of professional negligence resulting in death and injury, as well as for falsifying claims that the park conducted regular checks on the roller coaster. Their defense was that the park didn't have enough space for repairing and dismantling the cars. The public wasn't buying it, and ticket sales plummeted. The park was unable to recoup their reputation and close in 2009. Number 8. Zero Gravity Theme Park in Dallas, Texas. When you think it can't be much scarier, this roller coaster suddenly lowers down onto a net without any harness. Yes, none of the bungee, parachute, or straps were used, there is nothing but you. The safety net below, and a 130-foot drop, that would be like embracing your own death. To witness it firsthand. Before we move on make sure to subscribe our channel, and press the, the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our new amazing videos. Number 7. Insanity Ride at Stratosphere Las Vegas. A genuinely mind-altering experience is Insanity the Ride. This Las Vegas ride will spin you and other riders in the open air and features a huge mechanical arm that extends out at 60 for feet over the side of the stratosphere tower at a height of nearly 900 feet. It's a fantastic opportunity to take in the breathtaking view of Las Vegas, but hardly anyone gets this chance thanks to this ride. Number 6. Akram Asylum, Movie World Australia, because you could lose all of your senses at the end of it. It might as well be an asylum. Your brains will spin and your stomach will turn with its five inversions. Its height is 109 feet and its speed is 88 kilometers per hour. Number 5. Cyclone, Coney Island, New York. This coaster is one of few that have a dark past, but still remain open to this day. The Cyclone is one of the more iconic representations of Coney Island. Having been named a New York landmark, in 1988, the coaster first launched in 1927, but its first fatality didn't occur until 1985, where a 29-year-old man decided to stand up in the middle of the ride and smashed his head on a support crossbeam. He died instantly the next year. One of the maintenance workers was on break when he decided to ride the coaster. He chose not to fasten the restraining belt and stood up on the ride's incline despite being warned of the danger beforehand, on the downhill. He fell from the cart, landed on one of the support crossbeams much like the earlier fellow and died. From then on there were no accidents on the Cyclone until 2007, when a 53-year-old man rode the coaster and cracked the vertebrae in his neck due to the force of the decline. He was admitted to hospital but died from complications in relation to the surgery. Despite these incidents, all inquiries have proven the coaster to be a safe ride. 
and the coaster remains to be one of the defining symbols of Coney Island. Number 4. Mindbender, Fantasyland, Edmonton, Alberta. This is the only indoor coaster on the list. With this high-speed triple-loop coaster being the largest of its kind in the world for years. Ironically, it was touted as the world's safest coaster, yet things went right in 1986, only one day after an inspection deemed the ride to be safe. It was believed that there was an issue with the final car's wheels. As it began to sway after completing one of the loops, bystanders watched in awe and horror as the cart derailed from the track to strike a concrete pillar. The incident happened to occur when a concert was taking place right underneath the coaster. Three people were killed in the crash, a male and two females, and another suffered critical injuries, 19 others also experienced minor injuries and shock. Afterwards, it was found that indeed, for bolts on one of the coaster's back wheels had come loose and caused the accident. Over a six-month period, rigorous testing and maintenance was done to the coaster to allow it to open once more and proceed. In a safe manner, seatbelts, headrests, and anti-rollback mechanisms were installed. And the number of cars was reduced. The coaster reopened and the following year and has been running smoothly, but more importantly, safely ever since. Number 3. Puff the Little Fire Dragon, Lagoon, Utah. This final incident shows that rides don't need to be overly intense or strenuous to be deadly. The coaster in question is Puff the Little Fire Dragon at Lagoon in Utah, a small children's coaster with nothing more than a few bumps in the track. Tragedy struck in 1989 when a six-year-old boy named Ryan Beckstead mistakenly tried to unbuckle his seatbelt after one lap, thinking the ride was over, when in reality, the ride goes around multiple times, he fell from the car and became trapped beneath the ride's tracks. When the ride came back around after completing a lap, the car struck him in the head, killing him. His father, who was watching from the sidelines, could only stand, helpless, which his son met his fate, during the investigation, attorneys found no reason to file criminal charges against the ride operator or Lagoon Corp. The girl operating the ride had tried her best to pull the brakes, but due to its nature and reliance on gravity, the ride failed to stop in time. We found no criminal negligence on the part of either Lagoon or the operator, said police when questioned. This was the first and only time a coaster of this form had resulted in a fatality and the first time that a park with this coaster has sought out further safety enhancement. Number 2. Formula Rosa, Abu Dhabi. At Ferrari World in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, there is an amusement ride called the Formula Rosa, with a top speed of 240 km per hour 150 miles per hour. Formula Rosa is the fastest roller coaster in the world and is made by Intamin, using a hydraulic launch system that produces a release velocity similar to that of aircraft carrier steam catapults. The coaster train accelerates to its top speed in roughly 4.9 seconds. Number 1. Datman. The Rye. Six Flags Over Georgia. Georgia. This coaster itself is not for the faint of heart. Reaching speeds of 80 kilometers per hour and twisting riders through harrowing inverted loops and turns and boasting an 105-foot drop, however. The inverted concept of the ride proved deadly in the spring of 2002, when a 58-year-old employee was stuck in the head by the dangling leg of a 14-year-old rider and later died in hospital. The girl was also taken to hospital afterwards, yet she sustained only mild injuries. The second fatality in the ride's history, and arguably the most catastrophic, occurred when a teenager visiting with his youth group entered the restricted area of the Rye, having to scale to fences to get there. It was said that he was trying to retrieve his hat, which had fallen off. He was struck by one of the cars going full speed and was decapitated. No one in the cars, however, were injured. Roller coaster rides can make you feel more alive by giving thrilling and scary experiences. However, if you feel like not riding them, you must listen to yourself specifically. While trying such rides mentioned in this video, they are not for all, and there is nothing bad in accepting them. That you feel scared of a particular ride, and hence don't want to try. 
Do let us know in the comment section which ride you are going to try. And if like this video do give it thumbs up. Have fun.